Good morning, it is quarter to five and I've just got up, hence the um, face that looks like a peeled orange. But I just wanted to come out and have a quick listen to the dawn chorus, which is extraordinary every day and uh, we often miss it. Sky's blue. Bit of movement in the clouds, so it might be a bit breezy down there. But uh, just waiting for Andy and then heading off down to the coast. See you down there. Good morning and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in Pevensey Bay. So, tactics. Um, I've tied up several traces today. I've tied up a couple similar to this, but with some little um, floating beads. And I tested them in the bath because I wanted them not to be going up here. I wanted them to sort of float to about here. So I put a bit of um, putty on to simulate worm and whatever other bits and it was sort of bobbing around here which will then get pushed out on the tide but I haven't put those on yet because according to the local um, tackle shop they were fishing here yesterday and they weren't pestered by spider crabs but there are more down that neck of the woods which is where I went last time and we were pestered by spider crabs so very simple uh, 150 gram breakaway again sliding here, um, so quite a long length of play, long, long trace, load of bling on the end, size um, one hook, and then simply it goes up over here, and then clips down onto here. like so and in true blue peter style here's one i made earlier i've got a um, fresh black lug which i've halved and i've tipped it off with a little bit of squid slightly shorter uh, length on this one and longer on this one so about three foot on here of trace and five on here so let's get them out tide's coming in and we're going to fish till highs about 12 we'll fish to maybe 132 thereabouts They've been catching down here, well according to the chat we spoke to, this was yesterday, um, a few rays, no whiting, load of dogfish, flounders, um, and a couple of plays. So really don't know. Got Andy with me today, that's all, and a uh, bit of an easterly blowing, it's quite chilly, but who knows, let's get these out. So Andy's got his rods fishing, this is my first cast, bit of depth to the water now, still quite windy. See how far we can bosh this one out. Happy with that one. So, fishing on to sand. Hopefully, that breakaway should lock in. Perfect. Let's get the next one out. I was going to put a big bait on today, but I've decided let's go simple to start with, a bit like me. Mm. 
Okay. The trap is baited. So, um, we got Norman's Bay down that neck of the woods, drove past Pevensey Castle earlier on today. <coughs> Had to go on a bit of a detour to get down here because there was an accident and all the bits that you try to get into Pevensey to the bait shop were blocked off. But we managed to get around. Time is quarter to nine. Tide's been coming in about an hour-ish. Wind definitely easterly. A lot stronger than was forecast. But it's not raining. Yet. <laughs> We're fishing. And I certainly need it. Had a really, really turbulent uh, couple of weeks uh, with work in between. Had a wisdom tooth out, which is, wasn't the most exciting of adventures. Um, I've trapped a nerve here, which means I'm really struggling to sleep at night. Although standing up is okay, as soon as you lay down, not good. Mother-in-law, as a few of you know, fell out of bed and crooked herself and We've been kind of looking after her and juggling work and getting her up in the morning and all the stuff that goes with it. My dog, doing really well, really well behaved, learning all the basic dog stuff and a joy to be around, I have to say. And then mother-in-law's dog, which is the small bison that is really, really old. My wife has been lecturing me about I've got to be patient and I need to understand and all these words. Well, the other evening, I'd gone to bed, I suppose, about 20 to 11. She'd been out doing stuff and came in. And you could have heard the shouting in Salisbury. There was swearing, really unusual for my wife. Anyway, I grabbed some shorts and wandered downstairs to see what all the uh, kerfuffle was about. And the old dog has been using mother-in-law's bedroom in the corner, which you can't really see unless you go and have a look, as a bit of a toilet. Mother-in-law had tried to clear it up, bless her, but it was all over the place. So my wife kind of lost her reason. Um, never seen her like that before. But we got to deal with it and the dog is kind of part of her life and is the sort of only focus that she's really got. And I'm sure it's not got many months left ahead of it. So we've got to suck it up. <laughs> he is a git. Place or a flounder? No, no. flounder. No, place? No. I have done it twice. Cool fish. Nevertheless. And what was that caught on? A bit of that and your frozen, frozen ragworm. Frozen ragworm with a top with a, a little bit of razor fish mm. on the bottom. Oh well. Get him back into his little watery house. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, is it yet? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fishing tram. What's going on? What's I was it? watching um, Danny, and Danny, if you're watching, fellow, big shout out to you. <laughs> um, his last video, and he was fishing at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And he'd got set up, did, did the intro, and then he was, a few moments later, back in his van. And he had a really odd bloke turn up on the beach, ask him for a cigarette, which he gave him, and he disappeared. And then he came back again, and he was sort of threatening and a bit strange and going, well, you're fishing on your own. There is no one else around. Um, and it kind of, I don't think, scared him. But just to be on the safe side, he packed up and he went home. I have to say, if I was fishing at night now, I would, I would have one of these. This is an Andy. <laughs> <laughs> no one would mess with this man here. <laughs> he is made of English oak. <laughs> but 
Yeah, well, yeah, but I have. To, I wouldn't go out on a, a beach in the middle of nowhere on my Jack Jones now. And particularly with some of the gear that we, you know, all of us use, it's not cheap. Three, I'm exonerated. Right, little dab. Pop you in there. And we get some forceps to get you off. So, second rod, another little fish. Um, previous fish wasn't a dab, it was a little place like this little fella here. So we're just going to pop him in the bucket and get him unhooked. And then, um, yeah, it is a place. Get it back in the sea. Stuff has been going on on here. Let's have a go. Well, it feels like it's got something on it. This is where it turns out to be a spider crab. Please be a fish. Please let me beat Andy. Oh yeah, that's better. Right, you, that's a better fish. Get you in the water and get you unhooked. Right, for those of you who wonder what the fish way is, I pull the line back in on itself, which I've done. I then get the hook, which I've got here, and then mask the tip of the hook and then the hook goes back in comes out there and the fish is unhooked I'm just gonna let her get a bit of puff and then get her back in the sea um, but that's so much nicer than having them deep hooked and damaged and I wish I'd learnt that method a long time ago, but it works really well. Clever idea, Fisho. Right, let you recuperate. So, you recovered in the bucket. Yep, flapping about. Let's get you back. You definitely are a little place. Right, little shiny place. Here you go. Oh, gone. Perfect. Oh. Captain Smug here thinking, oh yes, I've beaten Andy. He just caught another one. Now, it feels like there may be something on here. I've seen a couple of bites on it, but given I was a bit previous last time, I've left it to develop. And yes, it's a fish. Another little place. Get the hook out this time without doing the old fisho. I think we might have to do the fisho. Right place, you go in there. What is it? No, it's a little flounder. Giving it a bit of a perk up in the old water and get it back in the sea. Breathing nicely. In you go, way and away it goes. Perfect. 
Now, I've just been to the loo and I was Mr. <laughs> Mr. Smug. I've caught four, he's caught three. He's now caught four. Yeah. What is that, a flounder? It's a flounder. Yeah, yeah definitely. You can see the field of spine up it. Yeah. Oh, well done. Another fish. Right, I, I will catch up. Different rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh well. It's fishing, I suppose. So Andy's just had a thumping great bite. Rod went slack. Really nothing. Oh, decent, getting bigger, getting bigger. So, what have we got this time? What are you? Another flounder. Okay, there he is, little flounder. Fisho's hooked method, got it out. And you go to be a flounder for another day. Go on then. Whoa, and gone. Ah, that was a spider crab. There's me going on about, oh no, there are no spider crabs. That has been eaten. <laughs> right, I think we'll just change the trace. So, I was five, Andy <laughs> was four. He's now just caught another little flatfish, I don't know what it is. But we're now level pegging. Well, that's one in. See what the other one's got or not. Oh, no, I got a fish. I'm ahead of Andy. Whee! <laughs> I have a fish. I'm now six. Andy is five. What have I got? It is... No, this is little place. And can I get the hook out? Easy peasy, like that. Right, well, that's cool, I've beaten Andy. So, I've rebaited, I've recast, I've let this little chap perk up. Although, is he a place? He's a place. So I'm going to get him back in. Whoa! Come on, you. At least we know you're alive. <laughs> in you go, chap. Go on. Zip on that. Okay. We call this a day, I think. Six fish to me, which means I beat him. I'm going to take your hand, and I just want to say, and I wish I could say this, 